We want to tell you about the story of Rain Bow. Now, Carly's pretty extra, but do you have a cat named Rain, R-A-Y-N-E, Bow, B-E-A-U? No, I don't. Well, that's um, super cute, though. Benny and Suzanne Anguiano <laughs> had a cat named Rainbow. Uh huh. Well, they went to Yellowstone National Park in June. Oh, uh huh. They've taken their cats with them before, apparently. Oh, I love that. But this time, Rainbow got startled. Uh huh. And took off into the <gasps> woods. Oh no! Their vacation ended, and they were faced with the really, really sad choice of having to go back home without poor Rainbow. <gasps> So, that was in June. Uh-huh. And the story just came out this month, but apparently two months afterwards, so a month ago, uh-huh. Rainbow was located. Uh, so, they live in Salinas, California. Is okay. that, do I have that right? Yeah. The cat, Rainbow, was found in Roseville, California. Oh, wow. 800 miles from Yellowstone and only 200 miles left to go to Salinas. Oh, wow. Although I am kind of shocked that he was able to get that far without being caught sooner. <laughs> Rainbow made it 800 miles. That's 800 miles. And he would walk 500 more. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be the cat who... 800 miles is like here to Seattle, here to Portland. Yeah, that's a... That's a 12-hour drive. Right. He did it in two months. Wow. And they, they found him and they oh know gosh. it's Rainbow because uh-huh. he was microchipped. Right. And I guess he was passed out in a park in Roseville, California. Is he okay? A lady saw him. Uh-huh. He was not okay. <gasps> he lost like 30% of his body weight. Oh, no. Went for, or maybe 40, 13 to 8 pounds. Oh, no. He was like deficient in um, uh, protein and a few other things. Uh-huh. But they, you know, checked his microchip, called mm-hmm. the owners. <gasps> They came and got him. Oh. The family's reunited now. Here's a before. Don't get too sad. First of all, let's show you the before and after photo that the family posted. There's mm-hmm. Rainbow all fat and happy with a buddy cat, looks oh. like. Rainbow after his 800-mile journey. <gasps> now here's a photo of Rainbow in all their glory. Look at that. That's a good-looking okay, cat. Okay, okay. Cute little kind of cross-eyed Siamese-looking guy. Oh, I love that. Almost that's looks like a cute. seal point and a blue point mixed. Uh-huh. Yeah, fat okay, and happy there. Okay, that's cute. Good. But I'm just so amazed mm-hmm. at how, after talking about raccoon roadkill, right, and talking about oh, a story just last week. Thank you, Kevin, for gifting me this New York Times article. Since I'm too lazy to subscribe, sixty <laughs> year old woman wandered off the trail in Yellowstone, suffered burns to her lower leg after she fell through a thin crust of ground. Yes, I heard about this. Scalding water. Think of all <sighs> the shit in Yellowstone. Right. That could have just taken poor Rainbow out. Buffalo. Yes. I don't know. Do they have cougars? I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah. Rain yeah, and bears. Would oh my. Yeah. <laughs> Rain would have been a tasty little snack. Right. Right. And uh, are you catching my cold? Uh, no, I just have a. Okay. I have a tickle on my nose. Okay. Oh, that's the worst. It drives me nuts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. You've been petting Rango. <laughs> He's no, I got think those. So, yeah. <laughs> those hairs that'll stick inside your nose. Yep. Anyway, all of the hazards including hot pots and everything right. that apparently humans can't avoid. Mm-hmm. Rain made well, it out I think of those. a lot of cats are a little smarter than humans, honestly. Well, but and think about <laughs> this too. How? How did right. that cat know? Picture them driving from Salinas, California to Yellowstone, mm-hmm. a thousand miles. Right. Rainbow wasn't paying attention. No, he Rainbow was, was on the dash dead asleep. <laughs> yeah. But that cat somehow knew which direction in general he was heading. Mm-hmm. I know that animals have all kinds of crazy mechanisms in their body. Homing instincts. Yeah, that sort of help them know directions to go. You know, like there are theories that um, I think it's a certain type of bird. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I read the article. But like there are some theories that some birds have like um, some sense of electromagnetic fields. And that's how they can figure out which way is north and which way is south. So stuff we as humans can't even perceive. Right, exactly. Yeah, I have to I have to believe that after yeah, this. Right. And I have to assume that probably like temperature, scents, you know, maybe even like um the elevation he could detect in some way and he was right. like, This is wrong, I need to find the other one. Yeah. You know? But just the fact that he was going in the right direction. Yeah. And that's incredible. And way to go, pet owners, mm-hmm. uh, Benny and Suzanne, for microchipping your pet. Yes, it's so important. How cool is that? I'm just so impressed. I'm so happy he got back to his family. Poor little pioneer. 
He was yeah. lost on the Oregon Trail for so long. <laughs> Didn't die of dysentery or anything. No, I know. <laughs> oh, good boy.